For the past three decades, Adobe has been at the forefront of several publishing revolutions, enabling creatives to easily produce their creations in desktop publishing, web publishing, and digital media and photography. Now with the new 3D printing capabilities, Photoshop CC revolutionizes 3D printing by radically simplifying the 3D print process. So let's have a look at this. I have a very simple object here, 3D object, which I can move around as you can see. And uh, I would like to print this out. So I would like to create a 3D print of this. What I need to do is very simple. Instead of going to file print, which would be a 2D print, I'm going to 3D menu and there I can choose 3D print or print settings. First, let me show you the 3D print settings. So once I select that, we will get the properties panel open with the 3D print settings. And there's a new icon as well for these uh, options. And once you are in this uh, panel, you can also see that our view changes. This is actually a real preview of how the printing model will look like. We can even see its size around the bounding box. So we can decide whether we want to print to a local 3D printer or we can also use the shapeways.com website, which can create these very sophisticated 3D prints for us. I want to show this website to you. So that's Shapeways. And Adobe has an integrated workflow, which directly from Photoshop can create the models that you can then send to Shapeways and order your 3D prints. If you're not sure why is it useful to create your own 3D prints, well, it's good to have a look at the products that you can buy from Shapeways because it will give you a good idea of what's the reason and what's the purpose of creating your own unique 3D prints. But let me come back to Photoshop and here we can continue uh, having a look at the Shapeways options. So once you choose shapeways.com, then you can decide what uh, material you would like to print with. So you can find here lots of options like matte, bronze, steel, and then our preview will show accordingly that material on the object. Or we can also choose, for example, the full color sandstone which will represent the original textures on the 3D object. Once you are ready with the setup, you can just simply click on this icon here to start the print. And when I click on that, it will start creating everything, the model itself, preparing it for the print, for this specific uh, format and uh, for shape ways. And Photoshop will just tell you that the estimated price that you will get here may differ from the purchase price. I'm just going to click on this because as you can see, we get an estimated price here, which obviously depends on the size of the model and the details of the model and what options you choose from Shapeways. So this is how it looks prepared for our final print. And then all we need to do is just simply export this. So as you can see, the whole process for 3D printing is very simple, almost the same as 2D printing. We just simply have to have a 3D model in Photoshop and uh, there's actually quite a lot of things you can already model or create directly in 3D space in Photoshop. So once you use all of these features, now the 3D printing is also part of this whole workflow. And you don't even have to leave Photoshop at all throughout this workflow.